traffic reporting. Thank you, Jess. Thousands of children don't have access to high-quality pre-K. That's something local supporters hope to change. Ashley McGeehan joins us now live in the control room with much more on this story. Ashley. That's right, Sean. Officials say from 2012 to 2013, proficient academic and social skills more than tripled for four-year-olds who participated in pre-K counts. Today. Supporters of Pre-K for PA are raising awareness about the value of early education. Kids learn between one and five. They learn about 90 percent of their study habits and everything. And so they want to intervene now and while they're very young. Officials say 62 percent of children do not have access to high quality Pre-K and changing that could be life changing for area children. It's absolutely critical and I, I saw it every day in my court with juveniles. It, it was sad to see talented, intelligent young kids who couldn't read and write at the high school level. It could be avoided by early intervention. Pre-K education from good science and solid economics indicates that this is really very, very important to their future and well-being, their ability to stay in school. It reduces costs in the system later on. It gives them greater opportunity. We've still got thousands of three- or four-year-olds who are missing the opportunity to learn those math, reading, and socialization skills at an age so that when they hit kindergarten, they're there ready to learn. Governor Tom Wolf's proposed budget includes an increase in funding by $120 million, which would give access to pre-K to about 14,000 more Pennsylvania three- and four-year-olds. We just don't think it's, it's a good move to let another group of four-year-olds go without good early education. More than 500 kids headed out to the Tom Ridge Environmental Center for the sixth annual Pre-K Awareness Day celebration. They learn math and literacy skills. They learn soft skills, um, how to be a good friend, how to share, how to take turns, how to stay in line. It really helps them to get ready for kindergarten. Local lawmakers believe that this is a bipartisan issue and say they support the pre-K efforts. Sean.